Well, I'm Marky Dragon, and uh, as someone who pays attention to virtual currencies, this really caught my attention. So I was reading the Plano Evil blog today, which is uh, written by Stephen Davis. Uh, he's author of uh, a book about protecting games, and he likes to talk about all things security related to games. This one really caught my attention because it is the Korea Supreme Court rules virtual currency convertible. What that means is, is that they say the virtual currencies have value. Uh, in his article, he says that you can now play games for a living. Woohoo! Actually, there's been a lot of people doing that a long time. But what this does is this really gives legitimacy to it. It really um, you know, it's, it's a government stamp of approval, and many people may find that very exciting. Other people are going to find it terribly frightening. What we really have here is, now that we have, um, in Korea at least, that the virtual currencies have value, what happens when you get scammed in-game? Does that mean an actual theft happened? What happens in like EVE Online where they do stuff all the time that is so uh, anti-friendly or anti-player to player that to where they will rip you off blind uh, one corp to another if they can. And uh, so then does that become a crime, especially if you're playing in Korea? Uh, that is uh, actually a very serious question. And the Korean uh, Supreme Court takes this even a step further to where um, they're going to be taxing uh, the uh, currency that is converted, meaning turned into cash. And uh, value added tax of 10% uh, it looks like. And they think that they have a trading volume of about a billion dollars a year. So. That's going to be some significant revenue. They're going to have people uh, wanting to capture that revenue with tax and everything. Another problem with this is what happens if there's a game error? What happens, you know, when whatever happens and there's a dispute and a mistake is made in game? And so, since everything has value because everything can be converted into some form of money or another in, in these games, which that can then be converted into real currency, where does that leave us? Um, because do we, will we be in court over, I don't know, like in Ultima Online when we used to do these house dashes, you know, the, the houses would fall and everything, and, you know, will we, uh, be in court battles over who gets the virtual property <laughs> stuff like that so uh, this is really cool it's really scary at the same time and uh, who knows uh, Stephen thinks that that in the future this may become commonplace everywhere uh, we'll just have to see I'm not 100% convinced it will because there's so many issues on both sides so Anyway, this is just another interesting article. Feel free to uh, comment if you have some comments on this. I would like to hear them. And uh, check out the description of the video for a link back to Play No Evil, where you can read the original article and see the sources that he got it from. I'm Marky Dragon. Take care.